holiday decorations and tonight we're in the Dayville section of Killingly for a winter wonderland. Yes indeed Channel 3 meteorologist Jill Gillardi joins us live there and now. Hi Jill very festive. Yes we are out here again and there is uh, so much to see very festive out here we have of course uh, tons of lights and tons of lights but uh, we'll be obviously talking more about that a little later but we want to feature what is new this year if you've come out every year for what 10 years you've been doing this walking path Dan uh, you know what is new this year. Uh, so last year we had a tunnel and it was a huge hit. So, well, we had to do another one yep. and it's bigger and uh, better. There's more lights. Uh, we added some more uh, silhouette pieces that are around the property and some more trees uh, that are even higher than last year. All so, right. So I know Sunday you can get a wreath here. It supports the local uh, Cup, uh, Boy Scouts. And then, but it's tomorrow that if something more special is happening. Yeah, so our partner, Make-A-Wish Connecticut, uh, will be here uh, at the Winter Wonderland uh, Saturday the 10th. Uh, and they'll be here from 5 to 9. Uh, the Make-A-Wish Monster Truck will be on site, representatives from Make-A-Wish Connecticut, uh, even some wish kids, wish granters, just people to answer questions. Great. It's just dress warm. It's uh, going to be cold, as uh, Mark was talking about. Of course, we're going to talk more about how many lights it takes to make this a winter wonderland and how long it takes to set it up. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. I'll see you then.